When I was younger, watching Finding Nemo, I don't know why, but I just assumed Gil probably fought off sharks single-handedly to get his scars. Of course, that made the most sense to me at the time, but now I have a different explanation that makes more sense with biological evidence to support it. Hello, I'm Isaac from Watso Videos, and today I'm going to get to the bottom of how Gil got his scars. My first thought when doing research on Gil, who is a Zankless Kenskins, otherwise known as a Moorish Idol, was to find out what kind of predators he would have in the ocean. They have two primary predators, the moray eels and the tomato clownfish. Well, the tomato clownfish resemble Nemo in appearance, so I quickly determined if Gil had such a traumatic experience with one, then he would probably be more skeptical of Nemo when he is first introduced to the tank, so that explanation was thrown out. That leaves us with the moray eels, so they must have attacked Gil and left him with his scar, but it's not that simple. See, the moray eels could only damage Gil if they were to bite him, since they don't have any other limbs. But the moray eels have too impressive of jaws for Gil to be bitten and then escape. The eels have a pharyngeal jaw and a primary jaw, meaning they utilize two ways to eat their prey. The primary jaw bites down on the item they wish to consume, and the pharyngeal jaw clamps down almost immediately and moves the consumed food down the eel's throat. Now sure, I considered it could have been a situation where Gil was bitten, and then coincidentally, another fish ate the moray eel, and then Gil escaped. There's always a bigger fish. But that also can't be true, because the moray eel often has been found to clench their jaws on humans and not release after they die. People literally have to unclench the jaw to remove it from people's bodies. And on top of that, some species even secrete mucus around their teeth, which can be toxic to their prey. So if Gil was bitten, he would not be escaping alive. So if Gil wasn't attacked by a predator, then what happened? Luckily, Moorish Idol's interesting social patterns allowed me to develop what I believe to be a very convincing theory. Gil was living in a small school of Moorish Idols. Because Moorish Idols often swim alone or in small schools of fish after their juvenile age, which perfectly aligns with Gil's personality. He acts kind of like a loner, but at the end of the day, he wants to help everyone in the tank because they are his friends. So in the ocean, I'm sure he had a similar group of Moorish idols. Eventually, Gil ends up falling in love with another Moorish idol, and they were going to live a happily life together, because Moorish idols pair bond for life. Male Moorish idols often show aggression towards one another, so out of jealousy for Gil's romance, or just some kind of primitive aggression, Gil was attacked by another fish and sustained his lifelong scars. Finally, we have a way of explaining how Gil could sustain permanent damage without dying. With the weak fin, Gil is left a weak swimmer, resulting in him being captured on the reef by the dentist. In captivity, Moorish idols often become destructive and do not survive very long. So Gil immediately gets to work with his tank mates, devising scheme after scheme to get them out to the ocean. And why would they be so easily convinced to follow Gil into the deep, dark, predator-filled ocean when they were comfortable in the tank? Because they want to help Gil get back to his true love in the sea. At first, I wasn't sure if Gil falling in love was the necessity of the story, but Gil's bond with his mate gives a motivation for being attacked and why he would fight so hard to get back to the ocean. If you do or don't, or just think it needs some revising, then please put some ideas in the comment section. If you enjoyed today's Discovering Disney episode, then please subscribe to Watso Videos to stay up to date when we post videos like this one. Are there theories, questions, or things you would like explained about Disney properties? Then leave your ideas in the comments section or ask us on one of our social media pages and we'll be sure to make a video on the topic. Thanks for watching and have a magical day.